On behalf of the administration, board of directors, and members of the class of 2020, thank you for joining us for this virtual portion of Greensburg-Salem's 138th, but first of its kind, commencement ceremony. Due to the COVID pandemic, the traditional ceremony in its entirety is not possible with a complete audience. This program is recorded so that every member of the class and community can gather to hear and see the inspirational students who have made Greensburg-Salem a great place to learn and grow. We asked you, as graduating seniors with members of your family and a limited audience, join us for the awarding of the diploma ceremony to be held at Offutt Field, weather permitting, on June 25th. In the case of inclement weather, the awarding of the diploma ceremony will be moved to the high school auditorium. As this class has displayed over its days at Greensburg-Salem, together we make it a great day to be a Golden Lion. At this time, I invite class president Chase Clemens to the podium to share some words. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I could not be with all of you today. Although I'm not here to celebrate with my classmates, many of whom have left a permanent mark on my life, I want you to know that I am very proud of every single one of you, and I hope you will all be very successful. It seemed only yesterday when I walked into freshman orientation, both scared and excited for the future. Looking towards the front of the auditorium, my fear grew. The seniors in front of me looked like grown adults. At the time, I looked like a little boy. So when Mr. Zilly said, all of you will be quickly in their position, the years go fast, I couldn't help but laugh. How will I grow so much in such a little amount of time? How will four years go fast? How will I become an adult so quickly? But then it happened. One after another, the years flew by, and now we, the class of 2020, are the grown adults that I saw at freshman orientation a long time ago. As grown adults, it's important for us to look towards the remainder of our lives. Personally, I think life is best compared to a dash. A former Marine general by the name of T.S. Jones helped me realize this more than anyone else. One day, he had me look at a tombstone and explain to me that a person's life is defined by the time in between the day he or she is born and the day he or she dies. General Jones left me with one piece of advice that day, live your dash. To fully understand this advice, consider the grammatical use of a dash within a sentence. A dash signifies a brief pause within a sentence. As quickly as the dash comes, it goes. In these ways, High school is a lot like a dash. It is a brief part of our life. However, even though high school seems like a blip in our long lives, it provides us with invaluable memories and useful skills that shape us into functioning members of our community. For instance, without it, we would have never realized that it should be illegal to put AP English and AP Calculus in the same semester. Without it, we would never have learned that our class has the best powder puff cheerleaders. Without it, we would have never known that pasta day was the absolute best day for lunch. Without it, we never would have matured into the fine men and women we are today. Now, a new chapter of our lives is beginning. For some of you, this might be going to a four-year university. For others, this may include going to a technical school or going straight into the workforce. Nonetheless, this means that life will continue to quickly pass by and you need to seize every opportunity presented to you in the future. Looking back, high school allowed us to practice grasping at opportunities. Whether it be through classes, sports teams, or clubs, the opportunities at Greensburg-Salem expanded our personal relationships and skills. Now that high school has ended, a new set of unique opportunities will become accessible to us. But as these opportunities emerge, keep in mind that our dashes rapidly elapse. Eventually, we will all be in retirement homes wondering where our youth went. I'd hate to see anyone here regret the choices they did or did not make, so I cannot stress this enough. Continue living your dash in the way you see best fit. Once again, I would like to thank everyone for such an amazing four years. To my classmates and teachers, you have turned me into the person I am today. Because of you, I now know how to live my dash, and I will continue to do so for the rest of my life. Thank you, Chase. And now I invite Tyler Vandenberg, a member of the class of 2020, 
to give his senior speech. Hello, everyone. I'm Tyler Vandenberg, but many of you know me as Tyler Tick. In fact, some of you may only know me as Tyler Tick. I hope you've all been doing well and staying safe over the past few months. To be honest with you, I knew that I'd be at home for more than two weeks when I walked out of school on March 13th. What I didn't expect is that I would never again be walking into Greensburg-Salem High School as a student. I don't want to ignore the fact that we missed out on some of the most important moments and memories of senior year because of the coronavirus. Our hard work and dedication over the past 13 years may have ended with online classes and missing out on the last months of being together as a class. However, I know that what's done is done. Instead, I want to focus on the good. I want to end our time at Greensburg-Salem and begin our journeys into what's next on a positive note. At Greensburg-Salem, there exists a culture of kindness that I like to refer to as the Golden Lion Experience. The Golden Lion Experience is a teacher becoming a friend, a classmate helping someone in need, or a group of students, teachers, administrators, and the Greensburg-Salem community rallying together around a cause or goal that leaves the world better than we found it. Before I get to that, on behalf of the class of 2020, thank you. Thank you, parents and families. The accomplishments of the class of 2020 are a reflection on you and a job well done. Thank you to the teachers of Greensburg-Salem. Without your support and efforts, we wouldn't be here today. Thank you to the staff, administration, and school board of Greensburg-Salem. Your efforts behind the scenes are what make the entire education system continue to improve, work, and adapt to change. Finally, I want to give a big thank you to my fellow classmates, Greensburg-Salem's class of 2020. Thank you for 13 years of wonderful memories. As Tyler Tech, I've been involved in so many different areas at Greensburg-Salem, whether as a participant or giving tech support. Everywhere I was involved, I witnessed the Golden Lion experience. One great example of the Golden Lion experience in action is Greensburg-Salem's Minithon. Every year, the Minithon team puts an enormous amount of effort into the fight against childhood cancer. They always go above and beyond. However, they did even more so this year. Uh, due to a scheduling conflict, the gym was being used until an hour before Minithon opened to the public. I watched as the Minithon team work to condense six hours of setup in the gym into a few hours of staging their equipment, games, and other supplies in the hallway before moving it into the gym. Even with that bump in the road, over $60,000 was raised to help fight pediatric cancer. Additionally, I came across the Golden Lion experience daily over the past year while taking part in Greensburg-Salem's pre-apprenticeship program through the German-American Chamber of Commerce. Being able to obtain a certification while getting real-world experience in an office was amazing on its own, but the friendships I formed through the program are what really showcased the Golden Lion experience. I went into the program expecting some workplace experience, and I came out of it with a great group of friends. In addition to these wonderful memories, I was honored to be able to put together our Senior Salute video. My goal in creating the Senior Salute video was to do what I could to capture some of the memories of the class of 2020. In the process of capturing our memories, I also captured evidence of the Golden Lion experience and the essence of what makes Greensburg-Salem a special place. At the beginning of the video, you have Greensburg-Salem administrators and teachers showing they truly care for their students, congratulating them and reassuring them that they will be successful. This is then reaffirmed by students going on about the dedicated, kind, caring, loving, and supportive culture that exists at Greensburg-Salem. Any of us can tell you how much our teachers care for us and want us to be the best we can be. It's all right there in the video. I'm so thankful that we got to share the Golden Line experience together, but I need to remind you that this loving and caring culture doesn't exist everywhere. As we all go our own ways, I want to encourage each and every one of you to take this Golden Line experience and share it with everyone. Together we can create a pandemic of kindness. The most important lesson we've learned isn't one that shows up on lesson plans or transcripts. We've learned by example to be dedicated, kind, caring, loving, and supportive of everyone. If you keep practicing this lesson every day, it'll be a great day to be a Golden Lion no matter where you end up. It has been an honor to share these thoughts with you just as it has been an honor to share the past 13 years with my Golden Lion family. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. And our final student speaker for the graduation ceremony is Kayla Tai. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope that you all enjoyed your long weekend, especially those who participated in the second annual Senior Skip Day, which was our literal last day of high school ever. For some of you, that may have been a decision that you regret making. We all make mistakes, though. I know that I have. I, along with many of the class of 2020, have made mistakes. Hundreds, no thousands, okay, maybe millions of mistakes within our short 18 years. Have we learned from all of them? Probably not. 
but more often than not, mistakes helped us to grow. Personally, I learned after many weekends and a handful of speech drafts later that I'll probably never sign up to give a speech again. So as you can see, mistakes are all about learning. Collectively, we learned a lot from many interesting mistakes that made some lasting impressions. And many of these mistakes were made during the last four years of our lives. For instance, we all learned that it was a mistake to believe in freshman kick day and that the football team senior night tradition of an off-key rendition of the national anthem might be a mistake in and of itself. Don't take it personally, but a group of tone-deaf guys singing like cavemen, enough said. We even made the classic mistake of thinking that we would never get early stages of senioritis, only to realize that it developed as early as the beginning of junior year. I can also guarantee that we all have made the dreaded mistake of forgetting to do homework for our first block class. I think we can also agree that it was a mistake to think that anyone other than Andy Barber was born to be Santa Claus, or that Alex Podolinski and Jack McBride knew what inside voices were, or that it was also a mistake to think that Shalina Garner wouldn't be homecoming queen and that Casey Sorgel wouldn't be every teacher's pet. Even leading up to today, we had to learn the hard way. After weeks of putting off team's assignments, that a passing grade didn't just mean checking in every morning, and that we had the time to reflect on how we mistakenly took the things that we did at the beginning of the year for granted. Unfortunately, after walking out of the lobby doors on March 13th, we made the mistake of thinking that things would go back to normal and that we'd see each other in the classroom again. No matter how many other mistakes I could point out, it would not not be fair to share some of my own. I remember thinking that I was good at Spanish just to be corrected by a French teacher. I also recall the multiple times that I made the mistake of thinking that I aced an essay just to see that Leanne Ferry's name was at the top of the paper. And I was even foolish enough to believe that Tyler Vandenberg had not infiltrated the entire school until I found one of his business cards in the girls' bathroom. I also can't count how many times I mistakenly called a teacher by their first name, or even better, mom. And let's not forget about the faculty. Mr. Zilly made the mistake of giving the student body an eternal memory of him dancing with a paper bag on his head. He also missed out on the opportunity of making a pet out of the infamous raccoon in the courtyard. Mr. Ture also deserves an honorable mention for ruining the reputation of any chalk that isn't Hagaroma. Not to mention that Mrs. App made the mistake of not warning us that she'd be our personal alarm clock. After making, hearing, and witnessing all these fantastic mistakes, we reached the end of senior year. And it would be an even bigger mistake not to acknowledge that we are the first and maybe only students to graduate under these circumstances. Circumstances that allowed many of us to see the members of our school community in a different light, to spend two months sleeping in, to discover new hobbies, and to reflect on what we missed out on. By doing so, we were able to learn that we could turn what could have been a miserable end into a new beginning. Now, after many difficulties with teams, we are closer to becoming Office 365 masters, and our typing and general computer skills also improved, as we were forced to adopt a new form of speed typing and internet research in order to finish our assignments on time. But we may have to continue to endure and learn from similar mistakes. At least these shared experiences will prepare us to take the next big steps in our lives. Just because we're graduating doesn't mean that it's time to make hard and fast decisions. This is a time to continue to make mistakes. As a whole, our mistakes will become as important as our successes because they will define us. So make as many mistakes as you can. Don't aim to be perfect. Instead, it's better to be flawed. Kind of like the cafeteria food. That way, when we think back on our time at GS, we can reminisce about the mistakes that taught us how to become the successful people that we will be after graduating from high school. And that's exactly how it should be. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla. It's always very difficult to follow students who are so eloquent with their words and ideas. Class of 2020, a unique and talented group. Military academies, co-ops to full-time careers, CTC Student of the Year, champions at Young Engineers, section champs, national merit scholarship finalists and honorees. Perfect 2020 vision for a better tomorrow for our world. Unique and different opportunities for you such as internships, future ready, dual enrollment, and first to do, Phantom of the Opera. Yes, unique punctu punctuated by a unique ending to your high school career. COVID-19, practice and enrichment, online engagement, pass, fail, no prom, virtual senior project presentation, senior salute parade, and door-to-door -door cap and gown deliveries. 
from our amazing teachers in this virtual commencement ceremony. What do we learn from all of this? You as individuals and as a class, you will persevere. Find a way, not be deterred. This class won't settle for good enough until it's great enough. And you have what it takes to meet the challenges of tomorrow, much which we can only imagine. This is a testament to your character and resolve, not just COVID-19, but over the past four years. Your education was not only content, concept, and skills, but rigor, relationships, struggles, perseverance, and establishing new limits. It's falling down, reaching for the next rung on the ladder. Struggles are required in order to survive in life because in order to stand up, you got to know what it's like to fall down. It's effort that creates this ability. And yes, we've heard that and lived that. You've heard that before. For some of our special members of the class, your unique and exceptional circumstances over the past 13 years taught us more about learning and living than we were able to uh, learn in our undergraduate and graduate studies. We never know how far we can go until we push ourselves to go where we didn't believe we could go. Maybe it was an honors class, an art class, a dual enrollment course, joining a club or an activity that appeared beyond your comfort zone, stepping up for Mr. GS, or trying out for senior speaker. Whoever thought Tyler Tech would be a one-man TV network, his own tech department, proposing ideas that no one had ever imagined before. You pushing beyond your comfort zone pushed us to change our comfort zone. That's growth and learning at its best. Keep stepping out. It's what the greatest successes are realized, where impossible becomes possible. So I congratulate you on reaching this momentous day, even though it was on the fourth date scheduled. But it's only a moment and tomorrow brings your next unique challenges. Rely on your experiences learned in the halls and classrooms at GS. We didn't have all of the Class of 2020 assemblies in May preparing for this day, but I implore you to be grateful for those who helped you get here and for the opportunities that lie ahead. Thank you never goes out of style. I am grateful for you, for you give me hope for a better tomorrow. Stay hungry, hunger for more, whether it's learning more, achieving more, or giving and caring more. Giving and caring are from the heart and it doesn't come at a cost other than some time and compassion. Hunger for a better world and make it happen by your daily deeds. Like I shared earlier, don't settle until you reach great enough. Your great enough is what keeps us all proud to be Golden Lions. And stay golden brown. Our experiences together, inside and outside the classroom, were opportunities to grow character, leadership, scholarship, and service. You did it in community service, the Giving Tree, foreign language, in the elementary school, a program that's second to none and unique to GS. Academic and athletic competitions, modeling for our young ones in Cubs Den, developing friendships in the hallway, and lending a hand to another in a cafeteria, our library, or in your advisory. Our focus on relationships taught us that people don't care how much we know until they know how much we care. You showed that you care and you made a difference in the lives of our community. We still have our work cut out for us, spreading our GS gold across the globe. But I have all the faith in the world in you. Finally, remember that you will always be a golden lion. Under your work shirt, your college sweatshirt, or military uniform is the heart of a lion. You made each of the days at Greensburg Salem great days to be a golden lion. Wherever your path leads you, Always know that the front door to GS will always be open for you. You may have to ring the bell. Thank you. I will now introduce Greensburg Salem's high school military enlistees. With this group of seniors, we have six young men and women who have taken the solemn oath to serve our country after graduation. Darian Conway, United States Navy. Colby Johnson, United States Navy. Wade Klingensmith, United States Army. 
Thomas Pack, United States Marine Corps. Samuel Stryker, United States Army. In addition, three students have accepted scholarships to enroll in the Reserve Officers Training Corps or Military Academy at their respective university. Upon completion, they will be required to serve their country in their selected branch. Chase Clements, United States Air Force Academy. Kara Flanagan, United States Army at West Point Academy. Nicholas Hayward, United States Marine Art OTC at Michigan State University. Brandon Rickett, United States Army, ROTC at Bucknell University. These commitments are not only an honor, but it will also provide them the opportunity to further their education and careers. As we recognize these seniors today, we must think of them as they will be serving our country in some foreign land in the next few years. On behalf of the Greensburg-Salem community, I want to thank each for your dedication, commitment, and willingness to serve our great country. Thank you. On behalf of the Greensburg-Salem Board of School Directors, I would like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I've had the opportunity to address graduating classes over the years, which has been the highlight of my tenure as board president. This year is special, not because of the hurdles this class has had to jump over, but the way that they have done it. First, I would like to thank our administrators, faculty, and staff for their tireless efforts to complete a difficult school year. To the parents and caretakers of this class, thank you for everything you have done. To our group of graduates, I don't think the word congratulations actually fits what you have done this year. I've never been more proud of a group of young men and young women. I can honestly say the class of 2020 is ready to take on whatever is put in front of them and will make our world a better place. Thank you. On behalf of the school board of directors with the Greensburg-Salem School District, administration, faculty, and staff, I want to extend my congratulations and recognition to the class of 2020 for all their accomplishments this school year. If you read Charles Darwin's Origin of Species, you'll see that it's not the smartest or the strongest or even the fittest of species that survives. It is the species that is the best able to adapt and adjust to a changing environment that not only survives, but thrives in change. In class of 2020, you have had to make adaptions like no other class since perhaps the class of 1942. Though it has been difficult, and though it has been a struggle, often filled with suffering and disappointment, it has been something that all of us in all walks of life have gone through and continue to go through. And I commend you, class of 2020, for rolling up your sleeves, pressing forward, and moving ahead. I commend you for gritting your teeth and facing the dawn of a new day. I commend you for carrying on. For I have no doubt, with your talent, intellect, and strength, and with the love and support of family and friends, you will rise above this and chart your own courses for success. And should you see any obstacles coming your way, remember the words of Admiral David Farragut at the Battle of Mobile Bay during the Civil War and say, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Keep moving to your goals despite the obstacles and keep that end prize in mind. Congratulations on your accomplishments, class of 2020. Keep pushing, keep fighting, and keep the faith you will persevere and succeed in the end. Thank you. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the class of 2020. I'm moved by the words of our students who presented and I'm inspired by the actions of every student every day. I'm confident that our world will be better because you are its leaders. Thank you.